Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves and here for another fine shave or hoping for a fine shave. Yeah, excited to mow this growth down. Just about two days of growth, good enough to work with. Um, two to three days is perfect for me. So excited for today's shave and hope you guys are having a good day. Some great shaves and today's um, theme is going to be hashtag barbershop week. Um, from bbs.live, uh, check out um, yeah, bbs.live, Melly Mel and Nate Dog over there. They make some great uh, lives or they do uh, take part of great very entertaining lives. They um, drink some bourbon and just chill and yeah, have some good time. So uh, Melly Mel over there is uh, presenting Barbershop Week. So I'm going to be going with the Sterling Barbershop, very sweet, man, it's a, it's a complex, sweet scent. Maybe not complex for some people, but for me, there's more to it, like powdery, sweet, could kind of get like a cookie scent from it. I think it's a very warm, sweet scent for me, and I just love the label on this one, they make some uh, very simple and um, catchy artwork for some of the labels. I did uh, cheat a little bit because this uh, fragrance reacts to my skin slightly, so I mixed in a unscented soap with it. So a little bit of that soapy science unscented mixed in. Um, and I got it lathered up in my Captain's Choice bowl. Quite watery today. Uh, very well hydrated, let's say. I added a ton of water towards the end, so you can see it's very um, drippy wet. And I got it lathered with my Heritage Collection Ever Ready 200 brush. This one is one of my favorite uh, Badger brushes out there. I love the handle on it. Nice. Uh, this was one of the um, kind of the scratch and dent handles because of the the pattern of the colors, the butterscotch section, but. Still very nice looking. I got a 24 millimeter SHD better not here from Umo. A lovely uh, size that I really enjoy lathering with. So now let's get started. Let me wet the face and get lathering. <clears throat> uh, let me know what your favorite barbershop soaps and scents are. And I'll Barbershop is quite a generic <clears throat> word in the wet shaving community. It can be described as so many different um, scents, but um, it's a ooh, it's a popular one for sure. Yeah, it's dripping everywhere. Thankfully, it landed in my rinsing bowl, but as you can see. Very well hydrated today. I'm gonna have to splay the brush soon to build up the leather. Ooh, look at that. It's just drippy. Mmm. I love the face fill on this brush. Soft, dense. It's very nice. <clears throat> this might be my favorite badger brush, uh, but I don't use it often because I know I enjoy it, so I tend to... It's a weird phenomenon, like, you tend to save up your favorite gears for a special occasion or something like that. Yeah, just dripping everywhere, and um, I see it all the time, it's right in front of my desk, but I don't gravitate towards it because... I enjoy it so much. It's kind of weird, but I wonder if some of you guys do that as well. Like, you know you're going to enjoy the shape of it, so I'm trying to try out certain things that I didn't enjoy before. Maybe something might have changed. Kind of that perspective. But, alright, with this lather, it's looking pretty good, well hydrated. 
don't think I'm going to add more water here. Just going to enjoy face lathering for a bit more. Mm. up a bit and get shaving. Quite a messy <laughs> lathering process today because I've added a ton of water to the bowl, the brush. Towards the end I added a couple more drops and resulted in very hydrated lather which can be can become messy but regardless nice lather going on there. As for the razor and blade today, gonna be going with a similar setup as last time, but a diff different material of the razor. This one is the above the tie Windsor Pro aluminum version. Um, is, I got this scratch in the version, so there's a tiny scratch over over here. You can barely see it, but the water is kind of covering it. Uh, I got it paired with a Gillette Nasset blade on its third use, the same blade that, that I've been using. Um, it's going to have a little bit of a different shave um, experience because it's on its third use, but I think it'll still do well because I usually use the Nasset blades for up to five times, so I think it'll still give me a good shave, but I'm wondering how the difference in material will um, change in the feel and the result of the shave. So let's get at it. It's a nice, uh, very um, lighter than the stainless steel version for sure. So it's very nimble and I like, um, just feels very nice in the hands. So get at it. First pass through with the grain. <clears throat> Wow, that is it has a resemblance to the Razor Rock Lupo. I think the uh the, the aluminum version because of the same material, but still got a good efficiency and feel to it. Wow. So it feels great. Just cutting down the growth like nothing. And it still feels pretty stable. Even though it has a lighter material, um, it's feeling great so far. Because this blade is on its third use, I think it's uh, broken in a little bit. Um, doesn't feel as sharp, but uh, a little more smooth today. All right, let me rinse up. Go for a second. Yep, good residual on the face. Very nice. I don't feel any reaction to the skin right now. Maybe a slight tingle, but not as bad as if I lather up with the fully uh, barbershop scent. Hmm. It's a little thin and watery, but it's plenty stick. Oh, it's slick in the stick. Hmm. 
very enjoyable brush to work with. Super soft. The nice density. Yeah, it is disappearing a little bit, but it's playing good for me. All right, here we go. Second pass through, cross the grain. It does feel a little different from the stainless steel version. Definitely a bit less stable. Just uh, the blade feels a little more tuggy than compared to stainless steel version. It also might be because of the uses on the blade, but I think the lightweight Gives it a different feel, but still a good shave so far. This is a very nimble razor. Very nice. The shaving angle of this razor is pretty intuitive. I don't really have to guess around. And I'm trying to shave at a bit steeper angle, but I'm having to compromise a bit because um, it's not that aggressive. Oh man, that is smooth shave so far. I think I'm at DFS right now, but I'm gonna go for a couple more cleanups. Aiming for a closer shave while still maintaining the comfort. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Plenty of lather here. A little bit more watery. That's fine. Sure to apply all that good lather. Here we go. Cro uh, against the grain pass. Clean up. Ooh, this feels great against the green. Yeah, this is a good razor. I'm enjoying it so far. A little bit of skin stretching. <clears throat> Yeah, just listen to that cutting against the grain. So smooth. No tugging at all. Man, this is a Really enjoying this aluminum version of the Windsor Pro line. Let me go for one more cleanup. No, we should be good to go. Here we go. <clears throat> Still plenty to work with. Just look at that hydrated leather. It's nice to see. All right, last cleanup pass across the grain. On the neck. Very nice. Hmm. 
the hand handle doesn't feel too slippery. Even with the lather here, I am able to grip it. It's not the, it doesn't have aggressive knurling. I would say it's medium, but because of the lightweight, it's a little more um, easy to handle compared to the stainless steel version. All right, let's, the neck is feeling smooth. Let's take, attack the chin. There we go. <clears throat> Clean up a bit here. All right. That was a great shape. Let me rinse up and check out what. All right. Look at that. Uh, a little leak here. Can't really tell, but that's an excellent result. Very close on the chin. Yeah, I buffed towards the end, so it's pretty much BBS. Neck is feeling BBS. That's a comfortable BBS shave. I still have to check it out with the alum, but so far my skin's feeling fine. Yeah, very nice. Let me rinse with some fresh water. All right. Going with the Razor Rock alum stick here. See how it went. Still not much on the mustache. Very light sting on the chin. Very light sting on the neck as well. So just a light sting all around. And that's a great shave. I've <laughs> I got a really close result without much sting with the alum, so that's as good as it can get. Man. These are uh, above the Thai Windsor Pro razors are giving me great result. When I knew that I was gonna enjoy it because of um, the flat head profile, and I tend to like this kind of designs. Um, very simple design. Um, Sterling stainless, um, the ST plate is similar to this. Um, also the Maggard V3A head is similar to this design, but just the way, way they uh, clamp the blade and small details, uh, they do change from razor to razor. But this one is a, oh, I really enjoyed it. Judging from my first shave, this one is a keeper in my den. Gave me a nice BBS result on a two days of growth without much sting with the alum block or alum stick. So yeah, really enjoyed it. Love the aroma from the barbershop soap. Ah, very nice sweet scent. Um, let's go over the product really quick. Sterling Barbershop. Heritage Collection Shaving Ever Ready 200 Butterscotch Color Shave with the um, Smooth and Efficient 
above the tie Windsor Pro Aluminum Razor. I'm gonna be doing one more shave with this razor, but the first shave was amazing. Um, so let's see how the second one goes. Probably will continue on the same blade uh, as I know Nassets work pretty well, even on the on its fourth and fifth use. So I'm excited for that. After that shave, I'll be comparing aluminum to the stainless steel uh, above the tie Windsor Pro. Um, so far, they both work well, so I'm um, yeah, expecting good result. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This is Tim Shaves, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.